So do you think you're paid too little compared to your boss? For the first time, many companies now have to actually show how much they pay the median employee. And we found the leaders of some local companies make 100 times more. Evan Milward is on your side with the ways that you can close that gap. Some of their logos dot our skyline. Major public companies here like Kroger, Macy's, Fifth Third, now revealing how worker pay compares to the CEO. From my perspective, it's been an administrative burden for a lot of companies. So let's simplify it a lot. Say these five people make up one public company. Let's pretend she makes $1,000, she makes 20, she makes 300, she makes 5,000, and she makes 1,400. The median employee is this one, making $1,000. It's not an average, it's the middle. That's the number that people didn't have before. Shane Starkey is the partner in charge at downtown's Thompson Hine Law Firm. He helped about 20 companies figure this out this year. On Fountain Square. Do you ever want to know what your coworkers make? Not really, no. <laughs> Why is that? Um, I think it creates tension amongst the team. We might know a range, but that's it. And if I found out that I was below the 50%, I would probably end up not doing anything about it anyway or looking to see how I could better myself. Well, we'll get back to that in a minute. The other new number companies have to give this year is a CEO pay ratio. What does that mean? Let's go back to our pretend company. Say its CEO makes 100 grand. That company's pay ratio would be 100 to 1. No one told us what the right ratio is. I don't know if 100 to 1 is good or bad, right? Here's how some big local companies break down. Middletown's AK Steel had a ratio of 150 to 1, its median employee making nearly 93 grand. Macy's ratio is 806 to 1. The median employee there made just shy of $14,000. That's the highest ratio in our area, in fact. Macy sent us this statement quoting, Macy's compensation program is designed to motivate employees at all levels to perform. Kroger had a 547 to 1 ratio. Median employee there made a little over $21,000. Retailers have higher ratios nationwide, mainly because they use lots of part-time and seasonal workers. People are going to look at that and say, why am I below median? Someone needs to explain this to me. So we ask an expert. My name is Jessica Wright. I'm the Director of Employer Engagement with Cincinnati Works. She says there's no use in being mad about learning you're in the bottom half of pay unless you do something. I think they should go to their employer and speak with them and ask them, what do I need to do or how can I get there? And um, what resources will the company help me with You know, to, to get there? Back to Fountain Square. I think it's probably stirring the pot more than anything else. You tend to hope that the company compensates you for what you're worth. A better understanding of where everyone stands from top to bottom. I'm Evan Millward, 9 on your side. Right now in the WCPO mobile app and on WCPO.com, find your company's average pay and the executive ratio and read why companies now have to calculate this.